<laughs> I decided to dedicate this video to people who are transitioning into more higher end makeup. Now don't get me wrong, this is not no Valentino, this is not no Gucci makeup, this is not, you know, in that Tom Ford, this is not that. This is more your higher end makeup that you would see in Sephora, which you do see those brands in Sephora, but you know, like the Charlotte Tilbury, the Laura Mercier, um, the Pat McGrath, the Too Faced. Cause when you go inside these makeup stores, it's like really overwhelming, especially Sephora, and then all the customers are just in the way. Sephora should be bigger, but it's my opinion, you know? Yeah, so that's what this video is dedicated to. All the products that I chose in this video is super easy to use. These are my picks of higher end makeup that is great quality so if you want to know you want to learn keep watching this video so I treat their love like guys <laughs> Okay guys, so let's get right into all of this makeup, shall we? Well, I have tried my best to go into my makeup stash of what I already have and pull some of my products. So I'm going to pull the um, Charlotte Tilbury Golden Goddess Eyeshadow Palette. I don't think I've used this palette yet, like just individually, but this is one of my favorite palettes. And I really try to choose products that I feel like that are easy to use, um, easy to blend as well, that are formulated phenomenally. I'm going to be applying um, my eyes first. The reason I chose the Charlotte palette for this look um, is because when you're first starting out going into more higher end makeup, I feel like you want something really easy to use but also good quality because sometimes higher end makeup can just stick their name on some things, right? I think we all know that. But with um, the brand Charlotte Tilbury, I got it girl. Her products are formulated very well. You can use the whole entire palette and I have tons of videos on my channel on how to use her palette. It is also on the back of the palette, um, how she kind of shows you how to use um, this palette. The instructions are on the back. Take the first shade, which is her primer shade. This is my higher end um, eyeshadow base in its Max Laying Low Paint Pot. This is like my absolute fave. And I just pop this right on my eyes. And I'll have a separate brow tutorial that I can always link below. I actually have a brow video up on my channel. Maybe I'll pop it in. Cause my brows need done and they're kind of hard to work with when they need, you know, a little bit of TLC. They're kind of hard, you know, to work with. And this is a Sigma F80 PO. Oh, Sigma P80 brush, I've had it for years. Lends the product right into my eye. This is like my number one eyeshadow base that I always use. Like I can't switch up for some reason, I can't. I'm gonna take the first shade and it's gonna be just like my highlighter shade and it is known to be, it is known to be the Charlotte Tilbury, um, her primer shade. I'm gonna just pop that all over and you drag it also in the inner corner, the tear ducts there, and also drag it up to the brow. It's gonna give a brow highlight. Now I'm gonna go in with the second shade in the palette. It's like this grayish tone and just gonna pop that right in there. Not a huge fan of this shade here, but I'm using it. I'm going in with the brown shade. It's the deep brown shade of the palette. And I'm gonna pop that all over my eye. This is the incorrect way. <laughs> This is not the Charlotte way, I would say, but this is just how I'm using it. And you see I'm using one brush. So this is a really easy high-end product to use. I like to throw it all over my eye. <laughs> so then I like to take the pop shade, and it's only been a few minutes, y'all. 
And I'm gonna pop this pop shade right on my lid here. This is where all the glitter comes from, or you know, the pop shade, which I like. Super light and minimum. And that's pretty much it. You can see like my fingers, they're like dirty. I'm gonna be taking the Patrick Ta. I love these eyeliners. Now, of course, Charlotte has her eyeliner, but as far as a brown eyeliner, Patrick Ta has some of my favorite eyeliners at the moment. They're creamy, they're consistent, and the color actually shows up as a brown shade on people like me. So this is a great higher-end eyeliner to use if you're just going into higher-end makeup. and it's retractable. Use these, these are the Lily Lashes. These are the premium synthetic. They're in the style Brooklyn. Those prepped and then we're gonna use mascara. So you wanna use your mascara, it's gonna help the lashes blend. Of course, Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. This is my favorite mascara in Sephora, aside from the Dior Show and also the D and also the Dior Show Primer. lashes you want to add another coat of mascara I want to add my lower lash mascara last y'all know the drill okay so now it's time for the face y'all this literally sits on my table but I forget to use it all the time <laughs> the Charlotte Tilbury this is her color correctors in the shade 4 you can also use it as a blush if you're looking for a color corrector and you're like you know in Sephora this one is the best one. It's creamy, it's hydrating, and it blends into the skin really well. When you're purchasing makeup, you wanna make sure, pay attention to how it blends. My problem areas is like my mouth area. That's where like my scarring lies on my face. And so, um. And now I'm going to take Pat McGrath's Skin Fetish Subline Perfection Foundation. By far is one of my favorite. I know it doesn't work for everybody's skin. Super light, super thin. You can also build the coverage. I'm in the shade Deep 29. Very much luxe packaging. Give it a good shake. And I've had it for a minute now. I... Sorry, y'all. <laughs> so family called. But one thing I love about this foundation is that it blends really easy. It has a ton of shades. Higher end product. Miss Pat McGrath, the queen herself. If you're looking for your first high end foundation, you want something light. This is more on a thinner side. This is a great choice for concealer. The Hourglass Vanish Concealer. I feel like people don't talk about this one. This one is really, really good. A great high-end choice, especially if you love all like you know clean makeup. This concealer, you don't even have to like you know do all of this. One application is good enough. It blends really well. It is extremely creamy, and you also get coverage. Running out and I'm sad. 
because this concealer is so good. And also if you have dry skin, perfect choice. I just take my beauty sponge, forever, I love a beauty sponge, beauty blender, and I'm just gonna blend this out. It's damp. The beauty sponge, the beauty blender feels so good. Like, I think that's why, one of the reasons I love it so much is that it feels so good. So good, it's like refreshing, you know, in a way. That's kind of what you want with your makeup, is you want it to be able to blend. Some makeup don't blend that well. Concealer I also recommend, first time going in Sephora or getting more higher end makeup, is Born This Way Multi Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. This is the shade Butter Scotch. You can use these for multiple things, and they have a ton of great colors. And this concealer right here, you get a lot for your money. And the applicator is pretty chunky itself. I found this concealer in my other video. I was like, I lost my concealer. I went tearing up my room looking for this concealer because I really love this concealer. Like, I really like this concealer, okay? Added my Pat McGrath foundation. I just added a few products. These products are very lightweight on the skin. High end brands, it's just a price and a name. So these products I'm using are actually really good and they're worth the money. Huda Beauty, another brand. She has great products, she's super consistent. The quality is always good. This right here is a great higher end contour product. It is a cream, but it blends so good and the finish is really nice. So I'm gonna just take the brush that I've always used and I'm just gonna dip it into the product. This is in the shade medium. It's her Tantour Contour and Bronzer Cream. The way that a product blends is like key for me. Kind of what I look for to in a product because what if you're in a rush? Nobody has all day, nobody has all day to be blending a concealer. Do you see how easy that was? Super light. Okay, so one of my other favorite higher end products is the Charlotte Tilbury powder in the shade number two. Easy to use, compact powder, on the go, finely, finely, finely pressed, milled like no other and it lays on top of the skin really nicely it's a translucent powder but to me it has a little bit of yellow tone into it as you can see i hit pan you're growing a hit pan okay so i'm just going to take my powder highlighter brush here and pop this right under the eye and on all the points that i highlighted the Charlotte Tilbury Bronzer. This is so worth the money. This pen is huge. I've been using this since last summer and Charlotte powders are known for being finely milled. And when they're finely milled, they tend to lay better and less cakier in my opinion. This is in the shade four. I really wish she would bring more colors out in this product right here. This pen is huge. I love it. Look how easy that was. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in on my lower lash line. I just wanna add some shadow. And Charlotte Tilsbury, this is her smudger brush, that same brown shade that we mainly put all over our eyes. And I'm gonna drag that under my lower lash line. Take some mascara. I always do this last because I feel like when I throw that powder on, like you cannot see anything I put underneath my eyes. I'm gonna take, oh, wrong thing, a blush. Some of my favorite blushes are NARS. I still wanna try the Pat McGrath and I have to. And the shade is Love Joy. This shade is super universal. Looks great on deeper skin tones, also more fair skin as well. Um, but I love their blushes. NARS blushes tend to be very buildable. And this looks like dry, but it's not. But they're some of my favorite high-end blushes. The brushes that I'm using are the Morphe. X Ariel collab brush set. And you like to throw that right on the apples of your cheeks 
and you can also drag it up if you prefer like so I love that and yes you see this blush is super buildable that's what I love about this product ours is high-end pricey but to me NARS puts effort into their products. They put knowledge, consistency, and that's what I love. For the highlighter, I don't really have any high-end highlighters out of Sephora. So, which one did I pick? Which one did I pick? Which one did I pick? pick, pick, pick. Oh yeah, I have the Fenty Beauty. This highlighter is great. It's the Hustler Baby. Fenty Beauty is another line that I absolutely love that I feel that is consistent with their products. And you actually get two of these, but I like to use this one right here. I guess it's the Hustler Baby side. Yeah, the Hustler Baby side. This is one of my favorite highlighters. I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tillsbury Pillow Talk Intense Number no. 3 Lip Liner. These lip liners are waterproof, but they are also creamy. This brown color that Charlie came out with finally two years ago, this color looks great. It's warm, but without being too red. Because the lip liner is waterproof, meaning you can eat, you can go out. This is something that I recommend if you are a girl that's gonna be working all day, drinking your coffee like I do. Perfect pick for your first high-end lip liner. <laughs> this lipstick is by Charlotte Tilbury. It's the okay. Charlotte Tilbury to me is like a more higher end Mac when it comes to her lipsticks. You have a nice range of nudes. I would say like a peachy nude. I'm using the Makeup by Mario lip gloss. Makeup by Mario is another high-end brand, in my opinion, that sits in Sephora. I mean, that lives in Sephora. And I really like his products. Um, he is a well-known makeup artist, and I love his sleek. Just overall, his brand and the aesthetic of it, and it's actually good product. The lip gloss, Pro Volume Lip Gloss in the shade Golden Nude. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Setting Spray. It's the party all night, stay all day. Setting sprays are so good for just refreshing your makeup. Also, it gets rid of that powdery look if you're a girl that loves to use, you know, a few powders, you know, for oiliness or whatever the case may be. So a setting spray is just always very, very lovely to have. I'm more into higher end makeup. I recommend this one. But even the way that the automizer like disperses the product is on point. Very cool. Okay guys, so that concludes this video. I kind of went a little bit overboard with the highlight. That was an accident, but that's what that meant to be doing, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit up my social medias and I'll see you guys in the next one.